to Let's Build Hogwarts, part 47. Wow, we're we'll soon clocking these up, aren't we? We'll be 52 before we know it, a whole year's worth. Okay, but first let's focus on number 47. Get wires all tangled out. There we saw it. Right, so today it's a bit of a bitty one. It's been a couple of weeks since I've actually recorded because I did quite a few in advance and so I've now come back to it. Um, so I did make a note of bits that needed doing today. I've got, we've got torches to do, we've got the balcony to do, stairs to do and fixed floor. Not entirely certain what the floor thing is so we're just going to have a quick fly around. The floor looks intact to me, so I don't understand what my note of fixed floor means. <laughs> oh yes, I know what it means. Okay, 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 okay. We were gonna raise this up a bit, wasn't we? There we go. Yeah, we were... Okay, so first we want some stone bricks to fix that hole I've just punched in. We want some stone and some stone stairs and some stone. Okay, I think that will do us for the time being. have to fix that as well we'll move that later right and let's move that out of the way so we're just taking out the floor and we're just going to add in the stir let's just put some floor underneath there so we're going to add a stir just focus on this side a stir there. So we're adding two stirs. Um, do we need to add one there? We will. Now then this bit goes different because we're starting higher. So we take out this staircase. I didn't like the way we had it before. Take out the wall. It's just going to be easier. Okay, so now we're going to start the stair. We'll do a corner on there. No, we won't. Put a brick there. And then we're just going to bring this down until we meet the floor underneath us. the only alteration we need to make then. So, so we'll probably keep doing this throughout the build. We will make changes and alterations and tweaks here and there as we go along. Probably done that yourself already. Okay, no, I don't quite like that though. We're going to put it there. Which is perfectly fine because it's your build. Right, cobblestone wall. And we're going to need some cobblestone for our torch to put our torch back in. So cobblestone, nether rack. There we go. And some oak trap doors. And flint and steel. And we're going to keep hold of those because we're going to need those for our torches later. So let's grab some glowstone while we're here because we're going to need that in a bit. There we 
you go. So we'll start off with the cobblestone wall. different. Um, do we want to come out one more? Yeah, I think we will. Sorry. So we'll come out one more. And that could be a corner stair there. There we go, that's better. That looks a lot better than that weird thing that we had there. It looks like it's made to do that. Okay, let's put our torch in. And light it up. Okay, so let's start off with our torches here. Now we have no roof so we can put in our fiery torches that we've just done. So let's start off with corner here. Okay, so you can line them up anywhere you want. I usually do them in groups of five. So we'll leave gap five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Again, you don't have to, you can make your gaps bigger or smaller, however you want them. One, two, three, four, five. Zombie. Get one already. Oh, can't sit by a gym. Always move that. Four, five. Or you can have them lining up so that they're equal. Personally, I don't want that because you want to distribute light. Symmetrical, you can do that. Two, three, four, five. Two, five, four, five. 
Okay, so I think it was polished anthracite that we use around the edges, polished anthracite slabs. So we're just going to put those around the base of the walls. Just gives it that nice little finishing touch. is done we've got our floor fixed I remember in this one we haven't got anything in this tower this is the north tower we're not meant to have anything in this tower um, can't see a thing not yet that is something that we will come back to later I'm gonna go the long way around a bit now I just want to check all the other corridors for torches make sure we've done them all so we are now on the ground floor we've got this one done nicely remember because you've got the wooden floor above you it has to be glowstone torches otherwise you set fire to your floor like I did when we were doing divination I did that so I'm gonna put one here Oh, we haven't done that side. Okay, did I do the other side on here? I did. what we're going to do once we've done these oops daisy is we are going to do some of our staircases because i have now put some staircases in these corridors because it feels like there should be some constantly going through the floors so something tells me there will be staircases here So I say it is a bit of a bitty one today. We've got a lot of little bits that we want to finish off and get done before we move on. And we're going to move on to landscaping next week. We're going to start getting some more of the landscaping out of the way because it's been a while since we've done some landscaping. At least on this build. And we're going to focus at the back of the Great Hall. And maybe down the side of that quad entrance depending on how far we get there will be one maybe two of 
landscaping. And then we're going to come and we're going to do the quad courtyard. I hope you've all enjoyed the train. The Hogwarts Express has now been released and both that took two tutorials. Both parts are out. Finish off your Hogsmeade station rather nicely. Okay, we can have a doorway in there. Uh, you know what, no. We'll sort that out when we come to do that tower. So I'm not really counting these, I'm just putting them in between the windows as best they'll go. Really, that's all I'm doing. No planning, no counting. I've got to, I'm quite impressed with my train proud of how that's turned out. So next we're going to do some staircases. I'll probably do one or two because we do have quite a few staircases to do. So I will do one or two and then I will probably fast forward the rest. But I'll do two just to make sure everybody's clear. And then I shall fast forward the rest but there's about six to do in total. Ish. Okay, so now go around with the polished anzadite. I might see if my friend is available and ask her to help me. A little bit with the let's get some stone brick and fix that with the staircases. Ah, oh, I've got staircases on the brain now. Stone bricks. Get rid of the wall. Can't be done with that. It's easy for me if I can get help because I can't use fast forward. If you're either I didn't do that, let me know in the comments. We won't take any offence. We understand that even in fast forward you can still follow things sometimes. follow it if somebody else is doing it on the screen. Okie dokie. So we're going to start in this section I think and I've forgotten to put in a doorway. 
Mm. Right, so we are on. There's the quad door. So we are on this side. Oops. Ah. So I think because we've not put the doorway in yet, don't really want to put that in until we've done the courtyard. Um, so we'll put the staircase on this side. Doesn't matter which side it goes on, doesn't matter where on this side it goes. So for our staircase, we're going to want some red nether brick slabs. And some nether brick fence. We're going to do is we're going to pick a random spot. Well, we'll go for about halfway. We don't want to go on a torch, so we're going to go on a window. I'm going to come out by three. Then up by two. So we've got an M. All we're doing is just going to follow that same pattern. Three, then two. Three, W. Oh, it's an M. Oh. That's easier, isn't it? Okay, this torch has to go. Perfect, fine. eventually gonna hit the ceiling which I think I'm about to do yeah can't go up any higher wow. take it up as high as it will go I'm gonna come down I'm gonna wait till our head hits the floor and then we're gonna take out floor that is needed to give us the headspace. I think on this bit we're going to turn it though. <laughs> so let's get some spruce planks. So I'm trying to do it in a way where it looks neat from the top because that doesn't look neat from the top. staircase inwards a bit. Oh, I can't remember how she sent her, did this. she turned it at the end. Okay, let's get rid of the top box, bring it back down a bit. Sorry, I'm making a pig's ear after this. I'll make sure I do another one in slow when I figure out how I've done it. I'm certain that that's it. them to get in. In fact, I don't think that's it at all. 
Ew. But I think that's what we're going to leave it at. If you can do it better, go ahead and show me. Join our Discord and show us how you've done this, because I'm certain there's a better way of doing this. I just can't think of it at the minute. Okay. And then we're going to get our red nether brick blocks. And we're just going to attach one. Um, hmm. There we go. Like so. Because then we can put our fence on the top. We've got one staircase going up. Yeah, no, I don't like that bit there. Oh, it's going to take me a bit of fiddling with. Very sorry. No, I think we're going out too far. Okay, that looks a bit better. Still not quite right, but it's better. One staircase. Wait. We're going to come down. And then we're going to come down this way. So that's Gryffindor Tower there. That should be McGonagall's rooms. She is. And we're going to put another staircase here. So we're going to put it about midway. We'll start from a window. Come out by three. So we appear to be working on W's rather than M's. Not quite sure how I've managed that, but there we go. I might not fast forward the rest after all because these are proving to be fiddly. Uh, we'll get that now, polished down today. Stone. No, we're not because we've got torches to do. But never mind, we'll pick it back up later. So then you put your three on the top of the back, we're making a W. I think it's because of where I've started while I'm getting the W's now. So there are technically two different diagonals. So maybe that's why I'm getting W's. You might be getting M's, which is 
fine again if you're getting M's, nothing wrong with that. those overhanging. Right now we've got to remember how we did this. So we're going to come out that way. And okay that appears to have worked a lot better. It just fell into place that one didn't it? Stairs on the back of the singles. Yep. So you put it on the top of the blocks there. staircase is done. That one was quite easy. Whee. And now we're going to focus on this side. So this has got the doors in. Um, we're going to stick to keeping it on the outdoor side wall. We're going to stick to near the windows. We appear to be on W's again. Unless I did something majorly wrong with the first one, which is possible too. Hopefully I've got my sound sorted as well. It was a bit loud last time, wasn't it? My settings have been changed and I didn't notice. But I can't remember what they were at, so I'm hoping I've got it right. first one wrong. So top, at the top, 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 top. And then we'll go around with our fences.
There we go. So we're not going to keep punching through the wall every time we want to come up here. So now we're going to finish the torches on this floor. We're going to take it floor by floor. This is the second floor. Okay, so we want our cobblestone back. That's not it. And we'll replace the flint and steel for now. And we're just going to put these. There's a bit of a gap here, isn't there? That's because that's where the hospital wing is going to be going on the outside. So we're just going to put our torches in the places where we think they should be. If we have to move them later on, then we'll move them later on. It won't take two moments, that will it? I think that one might have to be moved. We'll worry about that later. It'll be a little while before we get to the uh, hospital wing. Got a bit of landscaping to do, then we've got the quad courtyard to do, then we've got the inside of the north tower to do, and all the rooms that that leads to. That's going to be super fun. So let's go put one in this corner. And we'll skip that bit. I don't want to overdo the light. It is a gloomy castle. But I don't like it too dark. Because if it's too dark, you can't see nothing. Okay, so we'll stick another one there. And we'll come round. Probably sit to death of trapdoors if you've done the train.
in. Last one. I think. Yes. Oh no, we'll put one there because it's a bit dark though. If you're doing this in survival, you want to keep your light up as well, don't you? Right, now for the polished anthracite all the way around it. Peaceful mobs on because then my lake will fill up with peaceful mobs. I want my lake. done. Sort of. We are now going to add staircases on this floor to that floor. This will be the last row of staircases that we're going to need to do. So where shall we put these ones? So just for clarify, that's the North Tower, that's Gryffindor Tower, so we're opposite that doorway there and next to that doorway there. Just making sure you all know where I am. your home in the sea. Hi, I've forgotten how I've done this again. Thank you. 
go. Now we're going to come to this back side, the hospital wing side, and we're going to do more or less the same again. Um, I think we'll go from this window here. Our W's. I think I did. I must have made a big mistake on the first one. I think that's it.
right oh and i think we've got one more side to do this is the hospital wing side so we've got really this side which is opposite that door there and i think we'll start at a window we'll start at this one Hmm. I think what we might do is stick a lantern on the edges of those. Stone, because I think we are done with that one. gonna go back of those top back
right and I think that's that one done so I think we've covered all of the stairs now is that the last one let's just do the rounds lost my bearings so this is the hospital wing we've done that one and that's the north tower wing that's what we're going to call it so now we just need to do the torches on the last floor so for that we've got our cobblestone we need the nether rack back and we need the flint and steel Okay, so we're going to knock out those torches there. I'm going to put one there. We can put our nice fiery torches there because there's no roof here. Ooh. What's that? Oh, I see. Right, so what we're going to do is get some. No, we're not. We're going to get some stone brick stairs. And we're going to put them like so. Yeah, that's better. Nice and fancy. Already done that to those. You can, of course, knock this bit out should you wish to. Whoops, don't get carried away like that. I realise we're coming up to the hour but I've still got one more thing left that I want to do and that would be the balcony at the front of the quad on the outside and we are going to do that before we finish today because then we've got the quad squared away and completely finished. I think I've probably titled this the quad part five because we are still working on the quad. Okay. I think you know what I'm doing with this bit here now so I'm going to fast forward this bit for you.
some lanterns and pop those. Probably overdoing that bit now, but it doesn't matter. It looks good. And is that it? No, that's right. So we'll fast forward again. Okay. So the quad is done. So now we're going to go outside. Just we're going to cheat and go through the wall. There will be a doorway there as well, but again, I want to put that in after we've done the courtyard. Which will go here and hide a lot of that. Right. Okay, just get some stone. And I just want to tidy that bit up a bit though. some chiseled stone bricks. There's one last thing I want to check in the quad because I don't think I've done it. Right, let's replace these with chiseled bricks. It just gives it that lovely extra finishing touch. isn't it? There we go. Just gives it that nice little extra finishing touch. It's a bit random, I know, it's just to keep the light in so we can see um, when we come to the hospital wing we'll probably be removed. That's why I didn't bother putting in a proper light. Okay, and we're going to cheat and go through the wall. So, and we're going to remove these doors because I've never quite like this little spot here and we're just going to change that up a little bit there put it as an archway rather than yeah so I took five from the middle and four from the sides 
I think one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So we can take that out. We can take that out. Oh, okay. It looks like we're not done with our torches, so we're going to need at least one. We can't put the fiery torch in here, so we're going to put glowstone. I thought we'd finished with these. Okay, we're going to keep it closer to this end and we're going to put two in. the same on this side. I think we can get it maybe three in on this side. Right. There we go. Now the quad is done. is we're just going to extend the floor around here, around there and across there. So I realise we are running rather late but I do want to get this finished off completely. So I can't remember where we start for the bridge because the bridge comes here. I'm going to go out that way for the bridge, the big suspension bridge. Hmm. Whoops, cobblestone. So I think we'll just round it off for the time being and we can always tweak it when it does come time for the bridge. So we're just going to bring it out two at the top. And then we're going to move down a bit to say the, the third pillar and we're going to bring it down again so it staggers down then to say this one halfway in that one because we're getting rather wide now and one more there again it doesn't have to be exact this probably will be tweaked at a later date in fact let's get rid of that last one because I think we're getting too wide there right so what we're going to do now is we're going to come to this flat and we're going to make sure we come out five so we've already got one 
put two, three, four, five. So we want some deep slate wall. I think we'll go for the cobbled deep slate wall because it's outside. So first, fill this in. Cobbled deep slate wall is going to go around there, like so. So it looks like we've got a little platform. What we're going to try and do is keep that even all the way around. So we want to add another four onto each block. Oops. So that's still the edge of that. So now we're coming in once. We've got one, two, three, four, five. In one again, so then in one again, and in one again, and in one, until we can do that. And you can bring it out a little bit further should you wish to. So if you want a bigger pathway which might be advisable actually for those bits. Try not to rush because I know we're short on time now overstepped our time but I don't think anybody's going to complain so let's bring it out one more block having too much fun that's better yeah that looks a bit better Again, don't worry about this end bit here it will get changed again at a later date we're just making it look as nice and smart for the time being so let's just square it off completely shall we this will be changed at a later date like I say so don't over fuss about this corner here right so same with this bit then we're gonna come around and in one as the wall moves in one except for when we get to those ones. two blocks one two three one two three four Thank you. 
Right. So let's put the and have it coming out that way. Oh, you know, you know, all over the place. Again, you can make it wider should you wish to. I'm partly thinking I might because it doesn't look quite right, does it? I think I might make this bit a bit wider. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Two last things. Oops, oops. We want some torches and some. We want some leaves. Take a pick, random leaves, any kind you want. Um, so we're going to go for dark oak leaves. I'm going to go for birch leaves. Add a bit of textures and colours in there. And maybe some flowered leaves. And we're just going to add a few in this corner here. Not going too nuts. Greenery, you could put a bit of moss around there if you wanted to. There we go. And we're done. Super long day. <laughs> About an hour and a half almost. Or well, to me anyway. Um, so, next week, landscaping. I know it's not fun, but it needs to be done. Hey, I made a run. Ooh. Tell you what we need to do, because it looks like I've got to do that. Stone brick stairs. We've got to put some underneath here. Now I have noticed that with this tower, some people prefer to put this little mini tower in front of the tower, if that makes any sense. That's better. Some people prefer to put it here rather than there. It's your choice. 
personally. I think it looks better there. But you might have put it there, you might put it there. Or even on that side. It's entirely up to you. This is your tower, it's your build. So I think that's it for today. Oh no, just watch yourself. Brain like a sieve. I'm just gonna stick one on there and one on there. To share my torches, they're a little naff. I've got some proper flamey torches. They had in medieval days we got carry it around. They were torches. Right, so getting distracted again. Next time, landscaping. We've got loads of landscaping to do, which is why I'm breaking it up into small pieces. So we're going to focus on the back of the great hall at the back there. We're going to bring it down, maybe a little bit more towards the side of the quad, and we're going to get this bit finished off here. Again, if you prefer me to do some of it off screen, let me know in the comments, and I shall do it off screen because it can get quite boring to watch. But I'm not going to do that until somebody tells me to do that. Just in case. It looks a bit too neat. It all looks too neat. We've got to mess it all up and make it look scruffy. And that side too. So yeah, we're going to finish this side and then we'll probably move on to the back of the Great Hall and see how far we get the maybe one, maybe two episodes of landscaping to do, depends on how far we get. Until then guys, stay safe. There's a lot that's going on in the world right now. Make sure you stay safe, take care of yourselves, and like and subscribe.